Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge Productivity Coaching Mini Series. And this is day five of that mini series. Today, we're going to start getting into opportunities. And this is really where the dependent and uh, interdependent models come into play with regards to the productivity coaching program. So, why are we doing all this work? Why are we setting up this program? For me, it comes down to two things. And one, it's the ability to help our coaching clients manage their opportunities. And the other one is to provide them with leads. So we're gonna start off with opportunities. And I'm gonna show you from kind of the Rainmaker side of things, and then we're gonna to transition to the agent side of things as well. So when I come into opportunities, and this is me logged in as the Rainmaker. So this would be you logging in as the pro coach unless you have been assigned to every opportunity for your team as an unlimited permission holder. And we'll show you that in just a second. But right now I'm logged in as the Rainmaker and you can see that I have two tabs at the top of opportunities, my team tab and then my personal tab. This view right now that we're seeing under the team tab, because I am logged in as the Rainmaker, represents all of the transactions of my entire team. So everybody on my team that has entered in an opportunity under their team tab would show up here. So this would basically be your entire coaching program. Everyone on your coaching team that had entered a team opportunity, you would be able to see here as a whole. Now you're probably doing weekly appointments or maybe bi-weekly appointments with your coaching clients. If it's time to coach just one agent, you can come to this all assignees tab, again, logged in as the Rainmaker underneath the team tab, and I can choose which agent I want to see. So maybe I'm coaching Nicole and I can see just Nicole's transactions, right? So this would be just what she has inside of her pipeline. Now I know one of the concerns right off the bat is, well, as an agent, I don't want other agents to know what's happening in my pipeline. Well, remember that most of the agents on your team, if not all of them, are going to be standard permission level holders. When your permission level is standard inside of the team pipeline, you will only see those opportunities that you have either created yourself under the team tab or those that have been created under the Rainmakers team tab and been assigned to you. So buyer's agent A, right, coaching client A, is not gonna be able to see buyer agent B or coaching client B's actual opportunities. It'll just be what they are personally involved in. So in order to create a team opportunity, it is important to note that you do have to create that with a team contact. So if the contact still exists in the personal account, then the agent is gonna to need to move that contact into the team account, team account in order to create a team opportunity. So you can see when I go to create an opportunity because I'm in the team tab, it's going to show my team and then this client list will only show team contacts. So if I'm searching for a personal contact, it won't come up here. Now, again, I've had some concerns raised by coaches that feel like their agents are nervous about the contacts. Remember, just like opportunities, contacts are only visible by the person who owns them or if they are in the team account, right? Personal contacts can't be viewed by anyone other than the person that owns them. But contacts that exist in the team account can only be uh, viewed by the person that owns them or the Rainmaker or anyone else that has been assigned that contact. Okay, so the contacts are private outside of the Rainmaker and the individual agent or anyone with unlimited or enhanced permission levels. So if you have a VA or a transaction coordinator that might have unlimited or enhanced, then that person can also see the contacts, but no other agent on the team can view those contacts. Now, this is where the leverage portion comes in. If I join your productivity coaching team, maybe you're providing me support with regards to uh, training and guidance on checklists, documents, all of those types of things. When I create an opportunity, and we're gonna transition now into my wife's account, who is a team member with standard permission levels on my team. This would be just like an agent in your coaching program. This will require some coaching on your part as a coach to make sure your agents are building out their opportunities this way. First of all, 
they must be building the opportunities in the team pipeline. Tomorrow I'm going to show you how to manage this pipeline and actually turn off, if you decide to do so, the agents and your program's individual pipelines. But for right now, we want to make sure they're building the opportunity in the team tab. When they go to create the opportunity, you will see it says Summit Property Group as the team. If they're in their personal tab and they create the opportunity, you can see that the team is grayed out. They can't actually select the team because again, this is their personal tab. We want them building their opportunities in the team tab so that you can offer them leverage and support and also so that you can track your numbers. When they come in and create this opportunity in the team tab, it's also important that they assign down here at the bottom, you as the um, coach, right? Because you are not the rainmaker per se. Pro coach MC blah, 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 A is actually the rainmaker. You as the coach are an agent on the team with unlimited permission levels. So you would wanna make sure that they come in and select you to be assigned to the opportunity. In addition, if you have a VA, a transaction coordinator, a launch coach, someone involved in the assistance and leverage of their deals as a benefit of being on the team, then they would wanna make sure that they added that person as well. So here's my fake guest user account, but this could be the transaction coordinator, launch coach, VA, whoever it is, wanna make sure that they get added as well. So now I'm creating this opportunity. We're just gonna put in Donald Duck here. Uh, Donald might not be a client. Let's see who is. Uh, we'll just choose Lucy Lovelace as a client, right? And we've gotta put the commission rate in. This is now an opportunity being created inside of Nicole's pipeline as a listing opportunity in the cultivate phase. So once I click on create, you can see that number inside of the pipeline is going to change from one to two. However, again, this is just Nicole's private pipeline. She cannot see the opportunities of any other agent on the team. She cannot see the Rainmaker's opportunities. If I transition back though to my account, right? And I'm signed in as the Rainmaker. So sign in as the Rainmaker in this case. If I go back to the pipeline, I can now see that the Cultivate item has turned to two. And if I go to all assignees and just select Nicole, I can see those two. In addition, if your all assignees are selected and you wanna know whose opportunity is what, you can click on the pipeline and you're going to see initials here and you can hover over the initials. So if you've got your entire team selected and you're like, who has Mickey Mouse? Well, I can hover over it and see this is Nicole's. I can also see who's been assigned to it. So I'm assigned as the Rainmaker and then Nicole is because it's hers. Here's the one that we just created. So Nicole is assigned to it. I'm assigned as the Rainmaker, but then you can also see my guest user or VA or transaction coordinator, whoever this third person would be, also has the visibility into this opportunity. So this is kind of step one in what's the value add of the coaching program and the pro coach account really. Um, the ability for your agents to create opportunities inside of the team tab, and then for your leadership team to have access to them. When I say leadership team, I mean you as the productivity coach, launch coach, a transaction coordinator, a VA, whatever your support and leadership team is on your productivity coaching team, you would then have access. So if they call you and say, hey, I'm having an issue with this document or this checklist, or I don't understand how to get paid or whatever, compliance coordinator said this, the MCA said that, please help me get paid, please help me get through compliance. You as the coach can actually come into this team account, see their opportunity, you can actually see their documents, you can see their offers, you can see their commission requests, and hopefully help solve those issues for them. So that's it for today, guys, kind of the base on how an agent would build out on your team an opportunity inside of the team tab so that you as the coach would have a visibility into that opportunity. Tomorrow we'll talk a little bit about more settings and uh, kind of drilling down a little bit further on opportunities and then we'll get into leads later this week. Hope you're all having a fantastic day and as always I look forward to speaking with you again real soon.